And now, 41 NBC's Business Spotlight. In the spotlight today, Bennett Financial. Hi, today we're going to talk about uh, self-employment. Oh, the joys of owning your own business. It's all fine and good until it comes time to file your taxes, and that's where self-employment can become a major headache for you. But today we're here to help you uh, through some of the changes of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act and how it related to self-employment. Even when you have a small business corporation or an S Corp, or you're part of a partnership, ultimately that income is going to end up on your 1040. And so what the legislators have done is they've come back and said, we need to level this playing field and give you a 20% reduction in your taxes. So for the first time this year, we're going to see something that's known as qualified business income that reduces your taxes by 20%, take a tax deduction off the bottom line. So whatever your net income is from self-employment, if you meet the income criteria, you're gonna get a 20% tax deduction from your pass-through business or on your Schedule C. So this deduction is going to apply for business owners that are structured as a sole proprietor and file their taxes on Schedule C, S corporation owners, or members of partnerships. So if your business is files on a 1040, an 1120S, or a 1065, you're gonna be eligible for the QBI. Now one thing you gotta look at, if your filing status is single or head of household, you can make up to $157,500 and you automatically qualify for the QBI. Or if you're filing a married joint return, you can make up to $315,000. It's a great thing for Congress that they passed for small business owners. And we look forward to helping you this tax season as we continue to help small business owners reduce their tax liability.